Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week 5 assignment of the course blockchain and its applications. Guys, for the past 5 years, we have been providing solutions for various NPTEL courses, including blockchain as well. So guys, please watch the video till the end without skipping. If I make any changes in between the video, you can be able to note that. So do watch full video guys and definitely subscribe our channel. Please definitely like the video guys. This is the most important step, step you can do to support us so if you like the video our videos will reach other students as well so that they will also get benefited like you right so please like the video and definitely share this with your friends and classmates let's see the first question what are the limitations of using the consensus algorithm proof of work so for first question we have got two probable solutions the first one is option a a lot of mining power is wasted and next option d high costs and difficulty so mark option A and option D as the probable solutions for probable options for first question. Guys, these are completely our probable solutions. If there are any changes that come to our notice, definitely we will update that in the comment section. And if you want to suggest any solution change, you can do the same in the comment section. guys. So we can try to sort it out. Second one, which of the following are not applicable for proof of elapsed time consensus? So for second question, option B is the probable solution guys. The first participant to finish becomes the follower for the new block. Next, third question. How an attacker could manipulate the transaction history of an existing blockchain whose ledger cannot be modified? only is it it is possible to append so for first uh, third question option c is the probable solution guys the attacker gained control of more than 51 percent of the network's computing power next fourth question what is the role of the ethereum virtual machine so for fourth question option b to execute smart contracts in a decentralized manner so mark option b as the probable solution for fourth question now let's move on to the fifth one fifth one which of the following syntax is correct to write data in a smart contract using solidity so for fifth question Option C is the probable solution, guys. My contract dot methods dot store of 10 dot send. So mark option C as the probable solution for fifth question. Next. Guys, before getting into the sixth question, the sixth question, I want to make a small announcement, guys. So that is regarding exam preparation mcqs for the course blockchain and its application. Here you we are going to provide you a huge number of 300 mcqs guys 300 mcqs in a google drive pdf restricted link so these are the past nptl assignment mcqs plus combination of our own handmade lectures extracted questions guys so 100 percent followed nptl syllabus so huge number of 300 mcqs you are going to get for one person it is 300 rupees only guys for two to five persons if you take it in a bulk for two to five persons combinedly 500 rupees guys so individually you can get for less amount only if you take it for two to five persons if you are only one person no need to worry you can take it for 300 rupees only if your friends or classmates are doing the same course along with you then ask them to join in your group so form two to five persons as a group and take it for 500 rupees per group guys individually you can get for less amount only right so already many students have taken our pdf pack last time and got benefited guys and got better preparation ahead of the final exam so take it now itself guys so that you can get better time if you want confirm to make the payment one member from the group mail me to this email id bk179417 at the red gmail.com so mail me to this email id if you are confirmed to make the purchase guys already many students have taken our pack and got benefited so this is the mail id guys bk179 417 at the red gmail.com and there is another pack guys so for this 300 mcqs pack the validity will be till the exam results day guys so no need to worry about the validity and access and there is another pack that is youtube membership pack 
here you will only get 100 plus mcqs the price is also less 89 rupees only it is only for one month one person and one month only available in video format not pdf like this 300 mcqs it is only available in video format if you want this youtube membership sample pack then just go to our youtube channel page so s kumar edu is our youtube channel page so beside the subscribe button there is a join button right so click on this join button then a small window will open like this select the second one videos only for members pack that is 89 per month pack and again click on this blue color join button and fill in this uh, formalities and make payment directly to youtube not to us guys directly to youtube that's it you will become member of our channel and you can get access to all of our members only videos here you can see blockchain and its applications part 2 and part 1 is also prepared right you can get all these videos access to all these videos for the same price guys no need to make any extra amount other than that 18 per month pack but my suggestion is if you are looking for in, to prepare in a final exam point of view it's better to take this 300 mcqs pack because you are getting more number of mcqs here you are got, getting only 100 plus mcqs but here you are getting huge number of 300 mcqs in a google drive pdf restricted link so for one person it is 300 rupees guys for two to five persons combinedly 500 rupees so this is the mail id bk179417 at the rate gmail.com so that's it guys now let's get back to the solutions sixth one 2.5 either equals to what so for sixth question option a guys 25 into 10 power 8 actually it should be 2.5 into 10 power 9 2.5 into 10 power 9 so if you remove that this point then it should become 8 right so first option it is the first option guys next seventh one which json rpc method is used to query the balance of an ethereum account so for seventh question option b is the probable solution guys eth underscore get balance next eighth one what parameter in the in an ethereum transaction specifies the fee for computational resources required so for eighth question option a is the option guys gas next ninth one which of the consensus algorithms requires miners to show a proof of sending coins to a verifiably unspendable address so the answer is option c guys most probable solution is proof of burn pov so mark option c as the probable solution for ninth question now let's move on to the last question of the assignment so for 10th and final question option b is the probable solution so friends these are the probable solutions for week 5 assignment of the course blockchain and its application so hope this video helpful for you guys if you feel the same definitely subscribe button definitely like the video and please share this with your friends and classmates and don't forget to purchase this huge number of 300 mcqs google drive pdf pack guys for one person it is 300 rupees guys for two to five persons combinedly 500 rupees guys so it's a restricted google link pack so mail me to this email id if you are confirmed to make the purchase and do share this news with your friends and classmates and ask them to join in your them to join in your group and purchase one, one member from the group mail me to this email id guys if you want only sample pack you can directly join our channel as a youtube member so that's it guys for this video so keep supporting us like this so forever and for until the next video goodbye thank you